Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. This is the one you guys in the live streams have dared me to do. The bucket and wheelbarrow. We have two buckets up here. One is full of grass for the sheep, which I'll show you how to fill in a second. Emptying it is an art form though, you've got to actually turn it upside down so it pours on top of you. Works well as you can see. There's 200 litres in that thing. Not sure what the sheep just took. So it's taken 198 so far. That's all. It looks like the bucket is empty, but if you take it back across to grass, it should fill up again. There's no fill indicator though, which is um, could be an issue, and you will keep dropping it if you try and move too quick. So I think you'll probably see where this is going to go in a minute. So we've got the grass in there. There's no straw, but if you want to empty out again, you just tip upside down all over your head. This time it's actually emptied. I think you can see what's going to happen now, can't you? What I've done over here. This is the most unpleasant bucket you'll ever empty. Well, if you've got to tip them upside down to empty them, guess what? It's a bucket full of manure. Lovely. Sure some people would go pay good money for that, but not me. Uh, anyway, moving on. The bucket itself, yeah. It's shiny, it's metal. It's hole in the top and a solid bottom in at the handle. But it doesn't leak, so that's, that, that's a plus. So that's our bucket. It doesn't hold water though. That's the frustrating bit. If we look in the shop at it, the one thing you probably want it to hold would be water. And it's not there. Fertilizer, manure, pig food, lime, all solid fill volumes, seed, sugar beet, grain. nothing else now down to the shop I've got the two wheelbarrows you may be thinking why has he got two wheelbarrows there's only the one in the mod pack all will become clear shortly I've had to colour code them so I know which is which so we've got the two here they're in vehicles under miscellaneous so we have to treat them as a vehicle So we have to enter it and it'll lift up. And we'll start the engine as you drive it with a steering wheel. The problem is it doesn't look rough ground as you can see. So be very careful on rough ground. And be careful how quick you corner with it because it will turn over. Trust me. So we've got an 18 km an hour wheelbarrow. Self driving, automatic, don't even need to be there. How we fill, we will see. Guessing it's not going to work in the same way as the uh, bucket. I 
There's not exactly much you can do with them. They both cost two pound to lease. They work. It's a start. The bucket's messy to empty, but they work. The other wheelbarrows could be one of the world's most expensive wheelbarrows. It's not got a reverse and bleep or anything daft on it. 120 litres of wheat, be useful around the chickens. Works, it does work. But I'm guessing you guys want to know why I've got the other one. Now why have I got this one? The right hand side of the screen should give it away. We have a world first, a GPS guided wheelbarrow. So I've got GPS turned on. If we go auto width, comes up as zero, so all I can do in there is set it to let's go one meter and be generous. Right now you're probably wondering if this is actually gonna work. We've got the GPS lines. So we'll get it on the straight first. I'm going to set our GPS guided wheelbarrow up. And there we are, GPS on the wheelbarrow. Who wouldn't want that? Look at GPS guided wheelbarrow for all your gardening needs. Okay, they work, they do what they're supposed to do, the bucket's a bit messy. But you guys asked for this and you got it. You can turn it upside down very, very easily, and then the only way to get it back is to um, reset it. Because you can't pick it up in the vehicle. So into the shop with these. Anyone who... They're under misc for the bucket. You've got 0.2 metre wide width. 200 litres and 50 pound to buy or 2 pound to lease. And the wheelbarrows are under vehicles are miscellaneous for exactly the same price. The wheelbarrow holds less than the bucket. It's 10 horsepower and holds one litre of fuel. It has an 18 km an hour forward speed. If you want GPS, it suddenly becomes £15,050. And you can have it any colour you like. There we go. You asked for this review, you've got this review. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this um, slightly obscure review video. But for now I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in the next one which should be a bit more sensible. Goodbye for now.